Hello friends and welcome to Style Tonight. Do you know what Vanilla JS is? Have you ever heard someone say I've written code in Vanilla JS and googled which library he or she was talking about? Well, this video should clear all your doubts. So what is Vanilla JS? Just like the vanilla flavor of ice cream, which is the most basic flavor, white in color with nothing added to it, Vanilla JavaScript is plain and pure JavaScript in its original form with no added flavor. Yes. If you're writing some code in JavaScript without using any external library, then your code is in Vanilla.js. But why do we call Plain.js or Core.js as Vanilla.js? It started as a sarcasm, but slowly became a commonly used jargon. In 2012, Eric Wassel coined this term and even created a website for it to mock people using external libraries for coding simple things rather than utilizing plain JavaScript for it, which is true to this day. A lot of young developers don't even learn the full capabilities of JavaScript as a programming language and directly jumps on to using different JS frameworks and libraries. What are JS libraries? Since the creation of JavaScript, a lot of other frameworks and libraries have been written on top of JavaScript, each with its own syntax, built-in functions, features, and purpose. Purpose is the key here. A library is nothing but a collection of ready-made functions that can be used directly without worrying about how they are implemented. It is generally coded by an individual or an organization and then made open source. Wow, that means these libraries are good? Hell yeah, they are good. They'll help you write clean code in less time and with less errors. The only thing is that you should know when to use what. For example, a lot of you must have used jQuery. It is one of the most popular JS library and it makes implementation of wind handling and Ajax calls super easy while coding. But a lot of things that you might be doing using jQuery, unknowingly, can be done using plain JavaScript too. And if you use core JavaScript or plain JavaScript, your code will be fast, won't require any external JS file, and will be more portable as well. So the idea was, or is, not to use external libraries unnecessarily. And that was the prime reason behind mocking developers and how this term came into being. So plain and pure JavaScript or core JavaScript is vanilla JavaScript or vanilla JS. If you are a beginner who wants to learn core JavaScript, you should definitely try our interactive course where you learn JavaScript by writing code, which is the correct way of learning how to code. So go check it out today.